happy Friday. It is about 9.30. We are on our way to see my, he's an oncologist, but every time I say oncologist, you guys freak out. In terms of my care, he's a hematologist, but he's, he's, he's an oncologist, he's a cancer doctor. Um, but he specializes in blood cancers. Anyway, the point of that is, because of the pandemic, all of my um, specialist appointments have all been separated and postponed and moved. I'm so far behind on all of like my health issues because of the pandemic. Luckily for me, even though I do have some ailments, it's manageable. You know, I can postpone them for a bit and give others priority, you know, that have more concerning medical issues. Anyway, so if you guys have been here for a few years, you know that maybe three years ago, four years ago, right before I met Parker, I was going through, do you guys hear that? Is that how loud it's been? Hold on, let me turn this off. It may look a little different. Still a little salty to talk about it. This car is not my car. Uh, but I'm not prepared yet. So anyway, a few years ago, I was going through some um, iron treatments, basically where I go sit at a chemo clinic uh, for about eight hours and receive like an iron infusion treatment. It's one of the worst medical things that I've been through emotionally because of where it takes place and just being reminded for a full eight hours straight that I'm blessed, you know, and it could be worse and I need to be blessed and thankful and, and stay humble. But also because the side effects were absolutely horrendous. It felt like I had copper in my mouth for about a week. I was dizzy and nauseous and felt terribly weak but apparently that's what I needed. So I was anemic, I've been anemic my whole life, but when I got older, after I had my kids, I had like a two-part anemia. I was anemic because of my heavy cycle. Hold on, guys. Uh, there we go. So I was anemic because of my heavy cycle, and then I was also anemic because of malabsorption. So my body was like, nope. I'm not absorbing this iron. And that's the iron deficiency that I've always had since I was little. And so, oh, that car just assaulted me with a puddle. I wish you guys could have seen it. I'm gonna follow you, you Honda Accord. So, I'm very like spacey right now. I'm very distracted. I think I'm distracted because I'm not in my car, it's raining, and my ponytail is too tight. <laughs> Have you guys ever done your ponytail so tight where you're like, God, this is the worst. Okay, um, I'm going to the oncologist because I am about six months behind on blood work. And this is just to check that I am still not anemic. And I was telling Parker, I'm like, I've been very lethargic. I've felt kind of sad recently. I don't know if it's my seasonal depression. I don't know if it's like that mood that I get in around my birthday and the holidays. Or if I'm just burnt out, which typically happens at the end of the year where I'm burnt out. I mean, we just sold two homes and bought one and moved one and moved out of so many houses. <laughs> so it is fair to feel the way I'm feeling, but it is also fair to keep in mind that I am behind on my anemia follow-up and this could very well be an issue that I'm going through. And if it is, I need to get ahead of it. Or rather, it's too late to get ahead of it, but I need to get on top of it, you know? So that's the thing is, we're on our way to my oncologist's office just for blood work. They take like 10 vials of blood every time. I'm like, I'm anemic already. Like, is this right? <laughs> Shouldn't you test me some other way? <laughs> so the reason that I'm in a rental, y'all, I told you last vlog, last weekend, I was like, listen, 2020, is having a really fun time with us this year. What's left? Shrinking box? No, she's like, I'm gonna break down both your cars. <laughs> oh, before I get into why I'm driving a rental, I did want to say thank you to Chomps for sponsoring this video. I'm actually 
very stoked about this partnership and pardon me for not making eye contact but I want to live I'm so excited about this partnership because every year for the last four or five years I've done a snack box and this is a box that I fill with treats and chips and candy and water bottles at my front door around the holidays because y'all our courier service works so hard around the holidays I mean they work hard period but particularly around the holidays the reason that I started to do this tradition with my kids is because I remember about four or five years ago getting packages at like 10 30 p.m. and I was like these people deserve to go home to their families and rest just like we're doing right now the least I could do is thank them with a special treat and a little boost so I started to do that about four or five years ago and man during the holidays Black Friday sales and Christmas sales and stuff like that like from October all the way to January their shifts are like 15 16 hour shifts it's crazy so I'm super excited because this year I was like you know what I'm gonna test this out I wonder if they know about chopsticks so I started to put chopsticks in my snack box and they are gone by lunchtime not any other snack not the water bottles the chops are gone so I am having to continuously restock my chops twice a day every day it's crazy I'll show you guys what it looks like when we get home but uh, I'm currently busy driving a loaner because apparently Parker's car which I was borrowing since my car was rear-ended Parker's car had a steering malfunction and like a chassis issue so I'm gonna totally date myself with how old I am but if you've ever driven a car that does not have power steering I repeat does not have power steering that's how old I am <laughs> power steering is a modern invention so before you guys power steering wasn't a thing steering wheels were actually really hard to pull they weren't silky and buttery like they are now and you'd actually have to hang on the steering wheel to turn you'd start planning your turns like a block in advance and so uh, that's kind of what it felt like except like four or five times harder like you could not move the steering wheel more than like maybe a quarter of an inch it just locked up thankfully I was home Parker was so emotional he's like oh my god you've been borrowing my car because I wanted to make sure you were safe what if this had happened on the highway or you were with the kids oh my god I'm like dude this isn't your fault this is a recall issue and we are lucky that we were home I mean yeah we can joke about like 2020 is really in the ass, but ultimately the issues have happened in a safe way we got rear-ended in stopped traffic the chassis locked up you know at home in the driveway so every single time that I'm like this sucks I'm also like it could be worse and it's not I know you're watching us so thank you so much for that God's protections all around us you guys and I was telling Parker after this steering wheel issue happened I was like he's trying to get my attention and I can't figure it out and I don't like feeling stupid the reason all this stuff is happening is because he is trying to get my attention he is trying to teach me something and I'm just completely missing the message I don't know what it is like what are you trying to teach me obviously I'm doing something that I could be doing better but what is it so that's a scoop I get to drive an Impala for now which kind of sucks because I miss having an SUV you guys with kids and backpacks and jackets and lunch boxes and thermoses all the grocery pickups you really take for granted the blessings you have and you take them for granted or you realize you took them for granted once you don't have them anymore you know maybe that's what I've been missing <laughs> that I'm a spoiled <laughs> so apparently my doctor's office was like super behind because I was waiting forever but that's okay I just needed a blood draw you know I could wait but the reason that I'm jumping on here to check in is because something just happened 
that drives me bananas. It's basically one of my pet peeves. And that satisfying click you hear is the sound of an Impala's turn signal. I may be considering getting this car. <laughs> Do you guys have like a pull to certain sounds? Like when I was a teacher, I bought my very, very, very first luxury vehicle. It was used off a used car lot. I got a BMW 3 Series, I paid cash. And the turn signal sound was so satisfying. The car that I have now, bad financial investment. Well, it wasn't really an investment, it's a lease. I'm leasing for two reasons, side note. One, because it's a business expense, or partial. And the other thing is car seats. When the kids are little, they have car seats, so you need the bigger room. But anyway, the reason the turn signal, I got distracted, sorry, ADD was triggered. When you're in a high traffic street and people are eager to get into the lane you're in from a parking lot, my mom just texted me. <laughs> Don't they know I'm easily distracted? <laughs> um, so you're trying to turn into the lane that I'm in and this is a very busy street, right? I stop in my tracks and I let them get in. But if I'm in the leftist lane, like the most left lane, it's hard because that means my co-lane people have to stop too. So like if they're in the right lane next to me, they have to see what I'm doing and mimic that behavior. But I've never understood why you wouldn't want to mimic being polite. You know what I mean? So if you see that I am arbitrarily stopped, it's because I'm letting people in. But yet, you choose to keep going. So I was stopped for several minutes and so I was stopped for several minutes and people just kept going. And this lady's like trying to pull in and she's like, I can't do it, you know? And I'm like, why are people like that? You know, if you want to be a jerk the whole year, that's fine, but at least during the holidays, like, I don't know, scratch a little bit of that patina, you know? <laughs> scratch off that patina layer and just be nice. At least during the holidays, be nice, you know? You're not gonna lose like 30 seconds of your valuable day by letting someone in. You're gonna force them to go through the light and have to make a U-turn because they wanna get into our lane. Why are people such jerks? I'm so flustered I have to go to Target. <laughs> no, I have to go to Target because I have to do an in-store pickup. And again, see this is another thing that I'm doing. So today it's raining. So I figured the drive up pickup, I wanna save that for the moms that have babies in car seats. I wanna save that for the moms that have little babies in diapers. I wanna save that for the people that are disabled and don't wanna get out of their car during the rain. So I'm gonna get out of my car during the rain and I'm gonna do an in-store pickup. I don't need to do a drive up pickup for anything, right? I don't because I'm fully capable of getting down and ordering or grabbing my stuff by myself and not making other people get out in the rain. You know what I mean? Like, that's not, that's not fair. That's my rant for today. That's my TED talk. You know what else is part of my TED talk? This man walking right in the middle of the lane. But at least he got out of the car, you know? He's literally in the middle, like in the middle, just in the middle, in the middle, in the middle. Holy crap. I bet I'm gonna park right next to him too. I don't know y'all it takes it takes like a second to be kind and the best part about being kind is it's free guys it's about 12 30 I'm sitting at my desk because I'm doing all the behind the scenes for 10 days of gifting why do my lips look purple I am kind of cold do you guys want to see the extent of how cold I always am seriously why are my lips purple do you guys need to call 911 <laughs> Call 911 from the future. <laughs> I have a heater under my desk because I get cold all the time and the double appreciates it, so we share it. Okay, so I'm putting all the behind the scenes work for 10 days of gifting. Basically means for 10 days, I'm going to do a giveaway on my Instagram. 
And in order to do that, you have to be very specific. You need to photograph the prize, you need to say what the rules are, you wanna make it so that it's no confusion. I'm making it simple. I'm not sending you on like some crazy witch hunt where you have to follow like 17,000 other influencers. Like it's not one of those things, it's not a chain. It's just me saying thank you. So if you follow me, okay, great. That's a bonus point. If you leave a comment, even better. All you have to do is leave a trail of the hashtag. You know, it's super easy. But I can't come up with a hashtag that is like cute and catchy because I want it to be related to 10 days of gifting and somehow be funny, unique, one of a kind so that when I tag the hashtag, when I click on it, I can pick a winner real easy. It's basically leaving evidence of your entries. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I asked on Instagram, I did this post and I was like, hey, you guys, leave me your submissions and I prefer it to be funny. It doesn't have to be, but I prefer it to be funny. And whoever's hashtag I pick, I will send an Amazon gift card to. This post has been up for seven minutes, okay? Seven minutes. I already have, I don't know how many entries, but they are so, <laughs> they're so funny. Like tan ta claws, cause I'm tan. <laughs> Panda extravaganza, because extravaganza on everything is funny. Pose panda pack. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Oh, and he should be in all the pictures of the giveaways. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. That's too, that's too long to type. Cochina sleigh, like not sleigh, but sleigh, like Santa's sleigh. <laughs> Gifting makes me look tan. <laughs> Panda claws. <laughs> like claws, but it's spelled claws like, oh, 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 you, you know. I don't know why I'm explaining the pun. The whole point of the pun is you get it. <laughs> Coffee break Christmas, I like that one. That one's like super classy, but I think it might not be one of a kind. So that's the thing is I'll need to verify that this hashtag doesn't exist already because the whole point of the hashtag is so I could find your entries and pick a winner, not so that, um, you know, it drowns. Like if I picked a hashtag that was like, throwback Thursday, there would be so many different tags on other people's accounts that wouldn't be related just to our giveaway. <laughs> I feel attacked. Two baby hair Santa. <laughs> Panda presents. I like that one. Does this gift make me look tan? <laughs> you guys, I'm drowning in entries. I don't know which ones to pick. Panda Claus is cute. Panda Prezzies, I also like that one a lot. Coffee with Clawsy, that's a cute one. Panda Ladder. <laughs> Perverts. <laughs> to double, come here. To double, Ben. Shima, come here. Come here. To double, Ben. I gotta cut the tag off. You can't keep it on yet until, it, until it, you take off the tag. Come here. Come here. Come here. Why are you so chubber numbers? You're in a medium, huh? Why are you so chubber numbers? Wesley, do you think he's gonna fit you? Huh? Come here. Wesley, Ben. Wesley, Ben. Have it. Uh oh. You ready for this? You gonna take off your clothes for the internet? Da na 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 na. Da na 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 na. Da na 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 na. Oh, but da 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 da. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, that's yes, so nice. <laughs> wow. Abed, close your eyes. Close your eyes. You want mommy to cut your face? Because it's the most beautiful thing you have on your whole face, on your whole body. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Wow! Oh! <laughs> it's like a crop top. Sophia, show everyone your new sweater. Come here. Come here, Soph. Ven. Sophia, ven. Allí dice una payasa. Ven para acá. Enseñales tu sweater. Show everyone your sweater. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. <laughs> Can 
Can you believe all three are in the same size? <laughs> the tapo, ven. The tapo, ven. Enseñame tu suerte. Ay, qué bonito te ves con ese suerte tan bonito. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Mira qué guapo. Oh, ese es un perro muy guapo. Mara, es un perro muy guapo de mi vida. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. Do you hate it? Do you hate it? Huh? Are you upset? <laughs> Are you upset? Bunker, you love clothes. Yes, you do. Yes, you. Hey, look at me, Wesley. Oh, I got my needle better than me, Vida Mucho. All right, you guys, we interrupt this awesome vlog for a word from our sponsor. I told you guys at the beginning of this video that every year for the last four to five years, I have done a snack basket at my front door. I had never done chopsticks as one of the snacks and they have never been so popular. So I'm about to use my own coupon code to restock my snack basket because they are flying out of my box. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, me and the Mern are gonna show you. All right, Mern, let's show everyone our snack box. So because of my job and because it's the holidays, I get a ton of packages delivered to my house, a ton, I mean, a ton so one year I was receiving packages up to about 10 30 11 p.m. and I just felt absolutely horrified that our delivery drivers were driving that late that hard and working so hard for us just to get packages conveniently delivered to us so I created this and you can actually see how faded it is because of how old I put it in a sleeve but this used to be a nice bright green and red and a little box Hey, can you not breathe so loud? Thanks. And so every year I do a variety of snacks. I always do water and I like to do a combo of salty, sweet, and mm, relatively healthy. This year I was like, you know what? I buy chomplings for Parker and his coworkers a ton. And I had a few boxes that had arrived and I was like, I'm gonna try and put these in the um, snack box and see how they do. So I just refilled this after this morning's deliveries and this is kind of how I set it up. This is empty by the end of the day. In fact, I'm gonna show you guys tonight before we go to bed so you can see kind of how the box ends up. But this is halfway or midday restock. But the best part about this is I feel good about sharing these snacks with our courier drivers because they are actually really good for them. So as I have mentioned before, chomps are a super healthy snack. I discovered these through Thrive Market years ago and I absolutely fell in love. I didn't, however, know they had a variety pack and this is something that I highly recommend for those of you that A, have picky family members, B, love options, or C, just are a fan of this type of snack in the first place. So I started to buy Chomplings, the little ones, for my sons because it's really easy for me to just put this little guy in their lunchbox. It's also really cool for me to send a couple of these boxes to Parker with work for his coworkers. But my favorite are the full size ones. They have nine to 10 grams of pure protein. They're good for you. There's no sugar added. There's no harmful nitrites or nitrates. They're free of GMOs. So this is genuinely a healthy snack for your family, for your friends, for your loved ones, or even your delivery drivers. So this is a variety pack. This is what I highly suggest you guys check out. But for me here at home, and especially right now with the holidays, I really love these little ones because it's so easy for me to fill the snack box. So if you guys were to say, Danny, which is your favorite? Which ones do I have to have? I'm totally gonna publicly shame myself. I don't know what you're about to see in this pantry but I do know for a fact it's gonna show you how much I love this flavor in particular. You ready? Look at this. Do you see the evidence? There's only one left. These are mine. No one eats these. <laughs> They're my favorite. Everyone knows they're my favorite, so they leave them alone. Our variety pack is gone, so I need to restock those, which is why you see that one out there on the counter. This is my favorite flavor. It is spicy, but savory and easy to eat. It's not, do you, do you, want, do you want to contribute? They're not dog treats, but they're Mern treats. <laughs> You're so spoiled. Okay, so 
Two of our favorites, great for your snack box if you guys are doing what I'm doing. But if you guys were to say, hey Danny, which ones are your favorites for your family? I'm gonna have to say this is my number two favorite, the venison. My number one favorite is jalapeno. And Parker's favorite, which one did he have the other day? Oh my gosh, he sent me a picture from work and he was like, oh my God, we need to get more of these, it's the best one. I don't remember if it was this one or this one. So it was either the Italian style or the sea salt beef, but they're all delicious. And if you guys are all about that holiday spirit, that holiday cheer, and you also wanna spread the love with the courier drivers in your neighborhood, or if you're getting a lot of packages and you wanna feel good about it, I do have a code and a link in the description box below. So Coffee Break will get you 20% off your order and free shipping. What's going on here? Clearly I need a chomstick. <laughs> So Coffee Break will get you 20% off your entire order, including free shipping. You guys, it's totally worth a shot. It is the holidays. Our kids are gonna be home from school, from college. We're gonna have friends, guests at our house all the time, and it's nice to have healthy snacks on hand. I am so proud, but also so excited that my delivery drivers pick or opt for the healthier snacks. Like, I'm like, I feel good about putting it out there, you know? So if you guys are on the fence and wanna check out Chomps, I will leave all the information in the description box below. Don't forget, it's a great purse snack. The other day, do you know what was in my purse? I had a little packet of Tabasco and a Chomp stick. So I was like, listen, if my car breaks down, if the zombie apocalypse hits right now, at least I have a snack. <laughs> Plus nine to 10 grams of protein. That always makes me feel better. You know, like, yeah, I could totally reach for a bag of chips, and that would be delicious, but this is good for me and it's delicious. So I'm having a great snack without all the guilt. Listen, it's 2020, I'm a mom, I am divorced, I am remarried, I have plenty of reasons to carry around guilt. Food is not one of them. So if you guys want more information, check the description box below. But for now, we gotta resume business as usual. Do you wanna see what's, what's going on in my office right now? I'm not proud kind of like this messy thing that I have going, I'm not proud of that either. Okay, hey, do you wanna show your friends your new, your new sweater? Huh, do you wanna show your friends your new sweater? Wow, look at this, oh you're so handsome. Oh wow, you guys are blessing all the giveaway prizes. Like you're full on blessing them. My ADD is so triggered right now because I am trying to do cute holiday flat lays so that you guys will get excited about the giveaways, but this is not my area of expertise. I can talk about meat sticks all day, <laughs> and I can do a fashion haul, and I can do my makeup and talk to you for hours, but doing a cute flat lay is not what I'm good at. You know who is good at it though? Parker, and Parker's on his way home, and he's gonna help me do this for you guys. So I have to take 10 prizes, all about this size and do 10 different pictures so that I'm ready for my giveaway on Monday. But it's just, this is probably the easiest one. It's probably my favorite one, but it's the easiest one. But how am I gonna, how am I gonna photograph this? I thought buying tinsel at Target would be a good idea. Y'all, this tinsel smells like dead frog farts. It's horrifying. <laughs> but am I being productive? This whole day was drag, you know? Like I had to I had to give up like half of my blood. It was raining. And that's all I got. I just I'm really trying to make excuses right now, but <laughs> that's the update. Oh, you know what else? My financial planner is going to be here at 5 o'clock. So, my financial planner is this amazing man named Todd that I pay to shame me at my financial choices. So he is hired by my company, <laughs> me, to tell me all the bad ways that I am unprepared for adulthood. And don't worry, there is no scarcity at unpreparedness on my behalf. So we are actually gonna meet with Parker for the first time so that we can make really good adulting decisions together. Now, let me tell you, Parker's been on this planet about 10 years longer than I have, and he seems to have it all figured out. Me, on the other hand, while I feel comfortable at where I am in life, 
I'm also self-employed. So tomorrow I could be bankrupt. <laughs> I'm laughing at it because it's all I have left. Um, but it is a scary thought and it's definitely a scary thought when you have been divorced and finances were a big thing. It is a big topic. It is a big stressor when you have children that you need to support. It is a huge stressor when your children are still so young and need to be supported still for a very long time. <laughs> It is a huge stressor when you are self-employed and the world is going through a pandemic because how do you financially prepare for that? I don't know if I'm going to get hit with zero sponsorships again like I was in March. So it is a very important meeting and it's kind of nice to just touch base with Todd and he kind of gives us, it's like a temperature check. Yeah, I think that's what you call it, where he's like, okay, it's the end of the year, you know, taxes are coming up, where are we, where are we shooting at? He's also helping me do things like life insurance, my will, stuff like that. So all those hard conversations that we don't like to have and we push off until we're in our 40s, those are the conversations that I have with Todd. Could I have done this earlier in life? Absolutely, but I also thought I was gonna be a teacher forever in California and not move to Texas and be self-employed and divorce and remarry. You know what I mean? So like we make plans and, and then God laughs at us. It's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't want to run into the situation where I'm in my 40s barely figuring out my retirement. I kind of want to know what that's going to look like now so that I could prepare for it. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if Todd will want to say hi to you guys later. I hope so. I think he will. I hope he will. Why not, right? We'll find out. Funny story. Okay, so do you remember I was like, Todd is magic. Todd is the best. Todd's my financial planner. Yeah. Well, he told me five o'clock. And it actually, in fact, was a five o'clock meeting on the phone. <laughs> and when he calls me, I was like, are you okay? Are you running late? Is everything fine? He's like, uh, I'm calling you for a meeting. And I was like, oh, I thought you were going to come to my house. We got dressed up for you. No, no, we didn't. Um, Parker came home. He helped me do all these product shots. Everything's so cute. You guys, I'll show you guys uh, once my phone is not dead. <laughs> I had to plug it in during the middle of our phone call. I was like, we got dressed up for you. We're all ready. He's like, yeah, I told you in the text. I will call you at five. And I was like, oh, I don't, I don't focus on details. You know, <laughs> I just saw, okay, five. And then that was it. So it was a good call. We talked about all that grown up stuff like wills and pensions and retirement and life insurance. He is going to email us some homework of difficult conversations we have to have before we meet again. And we're going to meet him again on Thursday, like next Thursday. It's gonna be tough, because it's gonna be like, hey Parker, if you die, who do you want your money to go to? You or the girls? Dun, dun, dun! I'm like, why is that even a question? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Anyway, so we had those those conversations, that, the, those conversations, we had that talk on the phone, and we have some homework to do for next week. But right now, it is almost six o'clock. I am starving. I had a grocery delivery today at like two and I got the ingredients for mushroom risotto. I think this might be on my channel already, the recipe. If it's not, I don't know if I'll be able to link it, but I will vlog a little bit of me cooking the risotto and Parker tasting it. But that's it, that's all we got going on. It's a wild Friday night, you guys. Wild Friday night. You wanna hear something sad too? So I told Parker that I've been seeing this early morning health drink post. I've seen it a few times. It's not trendy, but I've seen it over a period of time just randomly, and it's something that kind of interests me. So if you drink water, lime juice, and chia seeds first thing in the morning, it's supposed to help with digestion, your skin, like your complexion. Uh, it's, it's kind of like a health slash beauty treatment. I used to drink lemon water every morning and I noticed the benefits immediately. I stopped because I got lazy and I had to start packing lunches in the morning and making coffees and things like that. So 
you guys, you always fall last, right? Like you fall down the totem pole and priorities and you start taking care of everyone else. So I'm like, okay, I think I have a good routine down pat. So part of my delivery order, besides like the standard groceries, was limes to do it. So I thought we could start doing it tomorrow. What do you think? Do you want to participate? I asked Parker, I was like, hey, do you want to do this beauty drink with me every morning? Like, what do you think? He's like, I'm going to let you start doing it and see how it works. And then maybe I'll participate. That's his fun way of saying the fuck I'll participate. <laughs> so right now we're going to do mushroom risotto. Parker's too busy making a drink when he could be my chopper. Like, do you want to be my sous chef? I'm starting on my health care right now. Do you even care about me? <laughs> you want to cook? Do you want to focus? <laughs> or not? That is not a cup for a drink. This is a full glass. So I Parker, I have questions. So I have multiple trips. Spoken like a true Virgo, so I don't have to make multiple drinks. The logic. You guys that took us about 30 minutes risotto cannot be rushed you really have to take your time you have to let the risotto absorb all the broth and the heavy cream but you never want it to solidify so if I leave this on the hot burner any longer it's gonna turn into like a paste you don't want that like see how it still moves you don't want that to dry out so we're gonna turn it off we're gonna pull it off the flame and that's it, you serve it with fresh parsley on top. This is actually one of my favorite meals when I was a vegetarian. The only difference is I would use vegetable stock instead of chicken stock. And it was one of my favorite, most fulfilling winter meals. It's very hearty, it's very rich. You get that meaty texture from the mushrooms. We're gonna see what he thinks. Get over here. Get over here, sir. What do we got? I need you to taste test this. 
You can use the spoon because we're not sharing with anybody. It looks delicious. Yeah, it does. Mm. Now it's risotto, so it has to have bite to it. It's not going to be soft like rice is. It has to have a little bit of a. Mm. Do you see me bite it? Yes, I have that. Mm. Very you know? Very mushroomy. You said mushroomy like it's gross. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> good correction. I love mushroomy. I like mushrooms too. Mm. Is it good? It's very good. Awesome. Creamy. So that's dinner. All right, y'all. I will try my best to list how I did that in the uh, description box. If I can't, or if it's not specific enough, let me know, and maybe this will be the first video we do as our comeback cooking break with Danny. I don't know, maybe it's already on the channel. I don't, I don't know, you guys, I just, one day at a time. That's how I live my life, one day at an unprepared time. <laughs> Hey guys, I just put our little babies down for bed. It's been such a cool day, such a fun day. It kind of just all worked out great. We cooked dinner together and then we watched Peppermint. If you guys haven't seen that movie, I really like it. I love vigilante justice. <laughs> so if you're like me, you're gonna like that movie. It is so good, but don't watch it with your spouse because he's gonna be like, that's not how easy you break bones. A girl doesn't hit that hard. Like, that wasn't realistic. She landed on the pinatas, she would have died, you know, so. <laughs> Parker liked it because I liked it. We actually saw it in theaters when it came out, like two or three years ago, and he couldn't remember any of it. And as we were watching it, he was like, mm-hmm, nope, nope. Nope. Anyway, I'm just checking in to say good night. And guess what? Do you guys remember I was like, oh my god, chomps, 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 the mail couriers. And I call them couriers because that's a nice, all encompassing way of saying FedEx, UPS, DHL, uh, USPS, like all of the people that are going to bring goodies to my house. Heck, even the uh, Walmart delivery girl, her name is Gina. She dropped off my groceries today and she took a bunch of snacks too. So I'm gonna show you guys what my snack box looks like at the end of the day. But is this serendipitous or what? My chomps order came in today. <laughs> As I was opening my packages, I was like, I wonder if they know that the chomps they're taking are the chomps they help deliver. So I totally forgot that I placed an order of chomps for Parker to take to work. I placed an order. So these are the chomps that I use for the kids' lunch boxes because they're the little ones. And I also put these in the snack box. And then these full-size ones are the ones that I order for Parker at work. He takes these and he puts them where their coffee maker is and stuff like that for his friends at work. And then you can't go wrong with just the full size. Like these are good for like my purse or just to keep on hand as a healthy snack. And then of course the variety pack. Every time I place an order, I get a variety pack. I don't care what I'm ordering. I always get a variety pack because I feel like if someone's at your house or you're talking about chomps a lot or like, I don't know, if people come to your house for the holidays or whatever and they want one, it's a lot cooler to give them choices than to have them pick from just the two flavors that you always get. So I love to have the variety pack. Plus it's a great way for me to get variety when I'm home and I'm working from home and I don't wanna always have the same flavors. But I told you guys I was gonna show you what my snack box looks like at the end of the day because I gotta bring it inside. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself. Oh my God. <laughs> you see that? All right, I'm totally standing in the light. So here's where the um, the turkey ones were, and these are the regular beef flavor. Look, all the snacks are gone. You see that? Like, they love the snack box idea. I think by the time you guys see this vlog, it'll still be time for you guys to be able to do something like this. But I've been thinking, and I think just because of my job, actually, let's bring this inside because it's cold. Wait, it's heavy. Oof, oof, gotta refill it anyway. Anyway, what I was saying is, it's nice to do it during the holidays, but it's also a time when a lot of people do it. Wouldn't it be nice and wouldn't it be thoughtful if it was something that I did regularly? Because of my job, I get packages every day. Like that's just a fact. Every single day, at least one courier service will come to my house. Every single day, even Sundays. So I think it would be a nice touch. And then maybe we could do like seasonal snacks. 
you know, like change up the chomps flavors. Anyway, I'm overthinking it as per usual, but in a good way. <laughs> So I will leave all the information for Chomps in the description box below. Don't forget that the code that's listed there, Coffee Break, gets you 20% off and free shipping. You're welcome. Good night. I love you. Hello, good morning. It is Saturday. This is my beauty blender. This is my tank top. It's been a slow morning. I don't know why I struggled so hard to get up today. Actually, I'm pretty sure I know why. So I get this weird allergic reaction just randomly. I can't, I haven't been able to figure out what causes it, if it's detergent, if it's, hey, sir, sir, stop, stop, stop. You make it worse. Wesley, stop. Don't look at me like that. I don't care how handsome you are. No, sir. No, sir. Hey, publicly shaming you. Can you stop that? So you guys know Wesley is diabetic, and one of his complications, besides cataract surgery that we just uh, did in March, stop it, he has um, corneal degeneration on his left eye now. But now our newest nuisance, I don't know if you guys can see his muzzle, it's like totally infected. He gets almost like chap lips, but he gets so hard on them that he gets all blistery and infected. And because he's diabetic, it takes him forever to heal. So I'm actually gonna take him to the vet this week because I don't want it to turn into a yeast infection um, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna need antibiotics. This isn't about you. You're the oldest dog in this house. You're probably gonna live forever. This isn't about you. And my stomach is not a landing board. Sir, hey, all right. all right, is it out of your system? Huh, is it all out of your systems? Can I finish what I was talking about? Anyway, so if you hear weird sounds, it's, it's these three. So yeah, just randomly, unpredictable. I, it's not something I ate, it's, I don't know if it's detergent, I've changed detergents before, I don't know what it is, but I will get out of the shower, and then all of a sudden I'm like, hmm, my leg itches, so I scratchy scratch, and in a matter of seconds, both of my legs are completely covered in hives. I'm talking itchy, red, bumpy, blistery, huge bumps. And I am so itchy that it makes me almost want to vomit. Like, that's how itchy I get. And it just comes on, like in a matter of seconds, it just bleh, comes on. So I told Parker, I was like, this is the worst it's ever been. I'm miserable. So he ran and he got me some Benadryl and I don't like to take Benadryl, I'm such a wimp. Usually, like, you know, I can hang, but Benadryl makes me feel stoned. <laughs> or how I would think stoned feels like. He gave me antihistamine last night, and this morning I couldn't get up, I was like, I don't wanna get up. It was like 6.30, 6.45, 6.50, which is late for me to get up. And so this morning I'm like super sluggish, I have a lot of work to do, Parker has to go pick up his car or my car his car he has to go pick up his car return his loaner so we'll still have a rental but we'll have his car back my car still in the shop which i'm really upset because there was very minor damage to it i really need my car my kids are very uncomfortable in the small car like they barely fit there with their big backpacks and their big lunch boxes and their big jackets and it's just it's reminded me how blessed i am at the things that i have but it also is a little bit embarrassing because it makes me realize how dependent I am on stuff. So it's, it's a little bit of a confusing feeling. <laughs> but I do need to get some work done. It's easy work and it's work that I'm kind of looking forward to doing, but I feel like I am moving in slow motion. It's, I don't know, I mean, it, it, look, I'm standing here in a, with a towel in my hair and I'm like, okay, I need to do this, this, and this. And then I get distracted and I go do something else. So I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair. Uh, Parker and I have date night tonight, so I think we made reservations somewhere. We try not to go out that often. You saw, like, I get my groceries delivered. We only go out if we have, like, doctor's appointments. Parker has to go out because he has to go to work and things like that, but I think date night's one of those things he doesn't wanna compromise on. It's very important to him, so I'm like, all right, yesterday, that's why I was like, well, I'll just cook, so we don't have to go out, you know? So we want to film today together. Last year, last December, 
don't remember if it was November or December. Last November or December, we did the Newlywed Game. We weren't married yet, but it was a video inspired by Lan and Grant here on YouTube, and it was like Newlywed Game questions that we had to answer together. So I scoured and I found an additional set of questions that we could do. I recently watched a video from Jay, um, the motivational speaker. He used to be a monk. Um, great account to follow. Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, everywhere. He's like brilliant beyond his years and he just has a way of really putting life into perspective. Um, he, he helps keep my whining at a, you know, at a three as opposed to like a five. <laughs> and so him and his wife just answered several sets of questions on his YouTube channel. And I was like, hey, we should do a part two. So hopefully we'll have enough time to do that today. But if I keep talking to you guys, I can't really get anything done. So I, I, think, I'm, I think I'm just looking for an excuse to not start working. Do you guys wanna hear some bad news? I'm pretty sure the postal service lost like four of my packages because they're not tracking anymore. They were they were supposed to arrive last week, sometime during the week, and they just they stopped tracking. They're like arriving late in transit, but they have no idea where they are. Hopefully they arrive because they're kind of important. But anyway, that's it. I think that's all I got going on for you guys right now at the moment. It's 10-ish, 10.30, it's 10.30. So I'm gonna do something with my hair. I'm gonna start doing my makeup. I wanna film a raw first impression. I haven't done this in a very long time. Like a raw, raw, raw first impression. Whoa, for real? Do you need to go to the hospital today? Cause you're acting real crazy. Don't ignore me. You know, like you're sick. Don't give me an attitude. <laughs> I'm taking care of you. You don't have to get mad at me because of your diabetes. Just kidding, I'm not talking about you. Wanna go outside for a little bit? You look uncomfortable. Let's go get in the sun. Come on, let's go sit in the sun. Hey you guys, it's about 12.30. I just got done filming my review of the Lauren Conrad Beauty Collection. This is kind of the look I came up with just trying the products. It's not like you have a lot of options or variety when it comes to the collection. It's a very, it's not a very dense collection. Products that are done are done very well. I don't think I have been this excited over a brand as a whole. So brands will occasionally release a product that kind of like knocks my socks off. But with a brand as a whole, it's been a while since I'm like, wow, I found a brand that I could potentially love. And this is one of them. Look at that. I really love the ethical responsibility behind the brand. It is all vegan formulation. All of the products are designed with clean ingredients. It is um, an eco-conscious uh, brand. All the packaging is recyclable. All of the ingredients are ethically sourced. So it's really cool. It's available at Kohl's, but because I think there's a little bit of a confusion when you release a beauty brand at Kohl's, I think you're expecting the price point to be a little bit different, but it is, it's a mid-range priced brand. I think, think like Mac, like that kind of pricing. So I don't know, I'm a fan. I would pay for it. I actually spent probably about $300, a little bit under $300 buying one of each product when they had the Black Friday sales. So if that video, the Lauren Conrad Beauty review video is up, it's gonna be pretty long. I will leave a link in the description box below. It's coming up soon. It'll be up this year. <laughs> Listen, it's almost the end of the year, so I could say that. But, I mean, kind of in love. I don't have any base products from the brand, so the foundation and concealer that I'm wearing today is from Florence by Mills. But everything else, the blush, oh my gosh. I'm in love with this blush. I think this is a blush that I would have in my bathroom on my vanity so in the mornings when i wash my face i could just do a little touch it is such a beautiful pink it is like the perfect pink blush that's a big statement you guys know i am a blushaholic it is the perfect pink blush i'll link it in the description box below along with this adorable sweater from target that i got for 14 dollars. i know hey you guys okay so it's around 2 30. the lighting in here is a little wonka donks I sat down, I hit record. Do you hear that? My man thought it was a great time, even though he knows I'm filming and he's been quiet all day. 
he thought it was a great idea to polish his refrigerator that's right outside my window with a drill. Like, can't you just polish it like wax on, wax off? You know what I mean? Oh no, he's, he's using a drill. You don't believe me? Look at him, playing with toys, polishing stuff. You know what? Let's take this a step further because I'm Patty Spaghetti. Sir. Yes. Do you know professional work is being had through this window? Ah. I forgot. <laughs> I didn't realize it was professional. I know it was work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most people wax with their hands. They don't need a drill. You know what? Well, those people are dumb. <laughs> Work, working harder, not smarter? That's right. How come it's not shiny anymore? You gotta polish it. <laughs> with your drill? <laughs> with your butt? Well, maybe I ruined it, I don't know. Is that what you're doing, sitting right here taking butt shots? Maybe. I mean, I was taking a butt shot through the window. See? <laughs> Calm down, Cardi B. <laughs> Why are you hiding behind the door? So busted! So busted! I caught you, sneaker. Yes, I did. So I showed you guys, this is my work window, like right here. This is where we were looking at Parker's butt, and that's where he's working, and that's Parker's butt again. Yeah, I think you ruined, I think you ruined it. <laughs> that's okay, it goes with the... More brushed now. It's, yes, more brushed. More brushed, but there's no rust on is it. Is it abrasive, the thing? Ow! Oh, you did ruin it. No, it's gentle. I know, I didn't think it would. I used a... Uh... Oh, that ruined it. Yeah. yeah. That's what they said to use online. Yeah, that, that, that didn't do it. It was this. This is basically sand. Okay. That's well, okay. It did okay over here. Cut the off of there. Yeah, huh. It might be that fake stainless steel, you know? Maybe. Not like the real cheap. one. Like this is the, this is real stainless. There's a lot of fake stainless right now on new uh, refrigerated like refrigeration products. It's just like coverlet, but it's not actual stainless. So it's really the refrigerator's fault, you know? Okay, let's see what happens. I bet it's gonna be fine. Yeah, see? Well, you can see exactly where you did it. But that might just be because you cleaned it. The grime came off. Like, these look fine. Weird. Hmm. It's because of your muscles. Ah! Ah! I thought Marin was keeping you company. She's just exploring. Yeah, this is abrasive. And the videos you saw, they, it was fine? Yeah. Huh, we're gonna link those videos and we're gonna sue them. And my $14 Target sweater. This was what I was filming for you guys, is an under $20 sweater haul with a minor rant at the beginning of the video. Tell people problems. Like listen, okay, first of all, if it's a sweater, it doesn't need to be cropped, right? But why is the fashion industry doing clothing items now where it's either tunic length or it's cropped? You know, like a baby, it's like a baby dress. It's either a baby dress or it's cropped. If it's gonna be cropped, that's fine, but just half price, right? And if it's a tunic, like, it doesn't have to be that long because you don't have to wear leggings every day. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I purchased, Parker, how many sweaters do you think I've bought in the last like two months? 74. 74. And I've returned how many? 82. <laughs> They're either too short, too long, too tight, the sleeves are too short, or the sleeves are too long, but then the tummy is exposed. Like, look at this sweater. This is my belly button, this is a tank top, and the sweater's right at my waistline. This is the perfect length. Hello, why is that so hard? I'm not freakishly disproportionate. I'm... Perfect. No, 
<laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? I'm evenly tall. So I don't have like freakishly long legs or like a freakishly long torso. So like my rant is valid. If I need, like if I was self-aware and I was like, listen, orangutan arms, like just deal, then I get it. But no, I'm normally proportionate. I'm just tall and this is not nice. So if you want to hear a mini rant or a mini hot take and you want to see a haul of sweaters all under $20, then I'll leave that link in the description box below. That video hasn't been filmed yet. It's in the making, but it's in the making because I was disturbed by this handsome interruption. So I don't know if it's gonna happen this weekend. The intention is there though. Are you almost done or should I just, oh, you know what I should do is I should just add this bit to the beginning of the video. And okay. then they'll know mm -hmm. that the zzzz Are you stress cleaning? Confess. Do you want some hard kombucha? You know what? That would hit the spot. <laughs> it might, right? You know how I love my hard kombucha. <laughs> kombucha me up and down. You know, I'm gonna tell your friends you even said kombucha. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys like kombucha? Kombucha's hit or miss, you guys. Like, it could either be real good or it could be real nasty. So, we are actually gonna try some hard kombucha for you guys later. What's up, guys? Are you ready for your, for your bit? So, I went to PetSmart yesterday and I got the boys these sweaters because they've been very cold and they haven't been feeling well. They've both been pretty sickly. Do you see this one? What's wrong? What's the matter? I'm gonna move up your doctor's appointment, okay? You're worrying me. You're really stressing me out. You're not feeling so good? I don't like when you get the shakes. It makes mama so scared. Oh, don't be tough. You don't need to be tough for me. You don't ever need to be tough for me. He always is like, I'm fine, mama, I'm fine, I promise. No, you're not. You can feel sick. You don't need to be tough for mommy, my brave boy. So anyway, I was trying to get Wesley and the double new sweaters because they've both been feeling pretty yucky and they're very sickly. Well, they have a clearance aisle at PetSmart right now and we found this t-shirt. Do you see that? All right, Sophie, come here. Let's do a little, a little OOTD. You ready? All right, we're making this happen. Come here, Soph. Come here. Oh, look at this sweater. It says Tiny Influencer. Oh, oh. <laughs> look, Sophie. Show everyone your sweater. Oh, isn't that nice? So now every time you interrupt my videos, it's gonna be so fitting. It's basically your channel. It's Coffee Break with Soph. I'm just in it. Yup, yup. So if you guys have a PetSmart near you and you have a sassy dog like Sophia, you have to get her the Tiny Influencer t-shirt. It's on clearance. I think it was $4. <laughs> Do you not get enough attention? Do you not get enough attention? Sir, sir, you're so handsome. You're so handsome. Yes, you are. Look at you. You're so handsome. Oh my goodness. Get over here. Oh, you're attacking your mama. Oh no. Billy Goat. Oh, get your sister. Here. Come here, influencer. Come here, influencer. Look at that ponytail. Have you ever seen anything so cute in your life? Probably not. Look at that beard. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. You're so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty. Let's show them your t-shirt again. All right, ready? You need a real close-up of this one. All right, let's get real awkwardly close. Do you see that? It even has a hashtag on it. Tiny influencer. What do you think? Is it valid? It's totally true, isn't it? I think they made it just for you. Yep. That's right. That little tiny influencer. Bubble, you are on one right now, man. Oh, yeah? Oh. Hey, everyone on the internet's gonna see how you attack your mother. No! Bubble! Oh, are you gonna get me? Oh, are you gonna get me? Get your brother. Oh, you gonna get him? Oh, oh, you're tough. Oh, you're so tough. You're gonna snag my sweater, bro. What's it get him? 
Pues si quiero. Well, this is a cute interruption. All because of your t-shirt, huh, my little tiny influencer? All right. I guess we'll get back to work. Hey, hey, you guys! All right, so it is about four o'clock. We just got done filming a newlywed game tag. Why am I so sweaty? You're welcome for that extreme close-up. So we just got done filming. Parker and I filmed together. We did a um, couples game, couples quiz, get to know me. I don't know what even. It's a newlywed game. We did a video of it before. Um, last year, we just refilmed it. I was wearing this cute little number. Oh snap, look at that. Too bad I'm gonna be freezing. I gotta figure out like what kind of tights I'm gonna wear because this old lady can't be in the cold. All right, let me tell you. I'm like the wicked witch of the West that can't be wet. I can't be cold because the witch comes out, okay? <laughs> So we are getting ready to head out the door. I didn't realize this restaurant is 30 minutes away. That's not my kind of speed. I'd rather go to Dallas for that kind of distance. So we're gonna go to date night. I'm not bringing you along because I don't wanna bring a purse. But if we have fun, you guys, if you could see right now, if you could reverse the lens of this camera, Parker is standing in front of me in underwear and socks. It feels like Christmas. All right, so we're gonna go to dinner, we'll come home. We have to be home in time to feed Wesley because of his insulin. Oh, you know what? He's on a late schedule. So we can let our hair down and be home by eight. <laughs> Parker's face, he's like, that's late. All right, you guys, that is it for now. I would show you guys an outfit of the day, but I honestly don't know what I'm gonna wear. I don't know if I'm gonna put on tights, if I'm gonna put on knee-high socks, if I'm gonna put on booties. I'm overthinking it as per usual, and that's gonna consume about 15 minutes, and it's probably gonna make us late. So, we're never late. I gotta go. I love you. Hey, you guys, happy Tuesday. Um, What happened? I think the last thing y'all remember is me saying, we're going to date night. Y'all, that restaurant was a bust. Do you ever have like a favorite restaurant that you just stop frequenting because, I don't know, life happens, you realize how far it is, you find places closer that you really like, so you just kind of slowly start. Ma'am? So you just, I don't know, you kind of put it to the wayside, right? So I was like, hey Parker, let's go to Sugar Bacon. Sugar Bacon was a terrible idea. It was one of those things where like the meal was super greasy, it was so much condiment was on it. You just felt like poop afterward. My cocktail was terrible. And I was like, I think I'm getting a headache. It was one of those like, it's creeping on me, it's creeping on me. Y'all, Sunday, full blown, I wanna cut my head off. Terrible. And then of course yesterday was Monday and Monday happens and Monday is like the whole day's on fire <laughs> with stuff. You guys, we had this company come to clean our windows. So I told you guys this house that we bought He's about 20 years old, maybe 15, 10, I don't remember. Anyway, it's old. Older than the homes we were living in before. And I was like, you know, this house has really beautiful windows. If only they weren't so disgusting. So I asked Parker to find like a reputable company nearby that is familiar with the neighborhood and how many windows each of these houses have. And cleaning your windows is pretty expensive if you go with like, I don't know, those big, big, big corporate brands. But a lot of companies, kind of like a lot of landscapers do um, holiday lighting. A lot of other companies that also have the use of a ladder, like scaffolding and things like that, they part-time, I guess they call it moonlighting, as like window cleaning. So it's like find someone recommended by someone in the neighborhood. So we had this company come in and they did a really good job. However, today's cloudy and overcast, so I can't really just take it all in, like the cleanliness of my windows. But there was like 12 people in my house and the dogs were crazy. So if I wanted my headache to feel better, yesterday was not the day. So today I was like, you know what? Let's just get back into gear. Let's do some laundry. Let's defrost some food for dinner. Like I need to get back in some semblance of a routine. That usually means that I can enjoy whatever I want for breakfast because the kids are at school. I remember my best, most impactful memory after I got married the first time, rather, after I moved out from my parents' house, is that first moment where I realized I can eat whatever I want. 
whenever I want. Do you remember that moment in time when that happened to you? I don't know, maybe you were off to college, which my parents didn't let me do, or you got your own apartment, and you were like, hey, I haven't eaten all day. I think I'm gonna eat cake. Do you remember that moment in time when that happened? That happened to me, I think I was 25, and I was like, what do you mean I don't have to wait to eat ice cream? It was the best feeling ever. And so now, as I've gotten older, my mom used to always say like, oh, I can't eat that after dinner. Oh, I can't have that for breakfast. Oh, I can't have that because it makes me feel gross or it makes me feel bad. And I was always like, that's never gonna be me. You guys, if I drink milk after like, I don't know, six or 7 p.m., my stomach hurts. Sorry that I have a full mouth, but this is really delicious. So yeah, like after six or 7 p.m., if I have milk, I regret it, my stomach hurts. I don't get sick. I don't like, it's not like a severe stomach pain, but I am uncomfortable. And so in the mornings, I think I unintentionally kind of fast because in the mornings I usually just have my coffee, nothing crazy. If I'm super hungry, maybe around nine or 10, I'll have maybe like a yogurt with a banana, something very light. Well, a banana's not that light, but you know what I'm saying. I'm not actually hungry, and I don't mean famished, like, oh my God, I haven't eaten. No, like, I'm not actually hungry until maybe 11. Then I have a real meal. But aside from that, like, I don't, I'm not a big breakfast eater, unless, um, like, Parker's home, it's the weekend, and we wanna go have pancakes, it's a different story. I don't know why the vibe is different, but usually when it's just me on the weekdays and I'm home, I will sit in front of my computer and I do all the accounting, like the um, legal paperwork and stuff like that with this job. Emails, editing, all of that stuff. I plan out my schedule. Um, and I'm sitting at my desk and I really can't have anything very carby. I can't have anything that's um, bread, crackers, cookies. While I would love to, it just completely ruins my day. And I think it has a lot to do with A, my ADD, because I can't have anything that has extra sugar in it or I will completely, if I'm squirrely now, when I don't eat properly, it's just set myself on fire, you know? <laughs> the day's gone. And so, it totally looks like I got punched in the face, doesn't it? When you lean like this, like I'm violently aggressive with the way I handle myself. So I was leaning on my face having a phone call and then I was like, oh no, my pandas are gonna think I punched myself in the face. I don't remember what we we're talking about. I do remember that I was enjoying my breakfast with you guys. So, oh, I was telling you, if I have a bad meal, it ruins the rest of my day. It affects my productivity. So I noticed that when I'm a little bit hungry, earlier than usual, I tend to have something like this on hand. I always have one in my purse too. It really just helps me focus. It feels like a full meal. It tastes good with my coffee. <laughs> That was kind of gross, right? But it's good. And so it really just helps me focus. Like it fills my belly without giving me that crash. And I think it's because it's a zero sugar snack, which is kind of nice. It's not a low calorie snack, but it is a zero sugar snack. I'm not a calorie counter. I could always use a few calories. <laughs> but it is cool. I know Parker really likes to have it because he's always on the run. He's either at his desk or somewhere important with his job stuff. I actually sent him back to work yesterday with two boxes of chomps for his coworkers. It is Tuesday and I have a ton of work to do, including editing this vlog, but that's it. Next week, we are going to, after you see this vlog, there's not gonna be a vlog after that. I'm going to do like a newlywed game or couples game with Parker. That's gonna be like the fun video for the week. And I think it'll be cool because I think that might line up perfectly with it being Christmas weekend, maybe? I don't know. I still haven't decided if we're gonna vlog Christmas. Christmas for us, as like divorced parents and like a new blended family is always bittersweet because we always have to like surrender our kids to our co-parent at some point that feels yucky. And so for the last few years, we've had to give our kids back on Christmas day. So they wake up here Christmas day and then we go drop them off at their parents' house uh, or their other parents' house. And it just, it feels weird, you know? It feels, it's not something you ever get used to. Even though we celebrate Christmas here and even though we have them here for Christmas Eve and stuff like that or however it works out that year, 
it just always feels weird around the holidays. And I think that might have something to do, or that might have something to do with contributing to why I get a little bit sad around this time of the year. You know, there's a lot of stuff that you get reminded is not how you planned, but when you see how happy your kids are and how adjusted and stuff, I mean, there is a little consolation. <laughs> so take this as a message of, if you are in the same boat or in the same shoes that I am, it's just, I think it's just something you get used to living, but you're not alone. A lot of us feel that way. And I think for me, the payoff or what makes me feel better, my consolation prize is seeing my kids thrive and seeing how happy they are. And they never are hesitant to go between homes. Like they're never like, oh, I don't wanna to go to my dad's house or oh, I don't wanna to go to mom's house. They're always excited and they're always genuinely excited and happy to see each respective parent. And so that feels good. You know, it would feel super sucky if your kid cried and didn't wanna go over to the other parent's house, but when they're excited and they're happy to see every parent, um, we're doing something right. So if it's any consolation, as a divorced parent, you're not alone. It's always hard to give up your kids, you know, around birthdays and holidays and things like that, but it's part of the show, I guess. Anyway, why am I ending this vlog on such a sad note, y'all? All right, so here's the scoop. Because this was a sponsored post from Chomps, don't forget that there is a promo code attached to that. So if you go to the Chomps website and use the promo code Coffee Break, you're going to get 20% off and free shipping. Get the variety pack, you guys. I'm telling you, get the variety pack, try it, find your favorite flavors, and then go back and place an order. That's not a variety pack. It's like the full size pack. But I actually have to go because it's only a matter of time before packages arrive and I need to refill my snack box. This is the life of working from home. You feed your courier drivers. <laughs> anyway, anything and everything you saw in this vlog will be listed in the description box of this video. If you had a good time, if I made you laugh, if you learned something, um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys so much, and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys. Hey. Do you want to say bye to your friends? Do you want to say bye to your friends? My little petite influencer. Hello. Oh, you're so pretty. Look at this messy hair. Who's gonna get in a, Who's gonna get a haircut next week? Who's gonna get a haircut next week? You are, cause you are looking a nightmare mess. Look at this. Look at this. You're gonna get mad at. Hey, where's my handsome boy? Let me see that face. Hey. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, what's up, crop top? Why is your sweater flipped up? Why is your sweater flipped up, crop top? Huh? There you go. Oh, that's a good boy. Say bye to your friends, everybody. I love you.